Hello folks, Brother Bob here. Good day. Today I want to talk about look before you reach. What do I mean? Well, you know, when you live out in the country, there are all kinds of critters that are out there. and Some are friendly and some aren't. So, you know, here where I live, copperheads are uh, common. They're not everywhere, but, you know, they're common. And there are uh, other things that are common that are uh, poisonous or uh, you can have a reaction to. For example, a black widow spider. They live in uh, dark places. So look before you reach. If you're turning over a board, I've picked up boards before, and underneath the board was a black widow spider. Fortunately, I didn't grab the spider instead of the edge of the board, so I got lucky on that one. But um, Saturday night, so this is Thursday, about a, a week ago Saturday, I uh, came home and the uh, I have a computerized light switch that turns my lights here on my garage. See the light right here? They turn them on and off when the sun goes down and when the sun goes up. It's not on a dust to dawn. It's, it doesn't work on sunlight. It works on a computer program. And you just put in there what your latitude is and what your time zone is. And then you enter the date and the time and it'll turn the light on according to a some kind of programming in there that turns the light on and off. I don't know, but I got it about 12 years ago at Lowe's and it's a pretty slick little unit. So I came home and this light behind me was burned out. Now, usually in the summertime, the spring, the fall, I don't have a problem with light bulbs burning out. Usually they burn out in the winter time when it's cold and I'll come out, reach up in there and uh, unscrew the bulb, screw a new one in, and we're good to go. Well, uh, Saturday night when I came home, I reached up in there and uh, my hands started to tingle. And the next thing you know, my hands on fire. And it wasn't because of electricity. Let me show you what I found. So what I found is a wasp nest. I don't know if you could see it there. My link just, my camera's screwing up. And uh, so anyhow, right over there is a wasp nest that used to be up in there. And I got a handful of uh, wasp nest instead of light bulb. And they let me know that they didn't appreciate me sticking my hand into their house. So I uh, got the wasp and hornet spray out and uh, let them have it. But I ran out and there's still some alive. So the point of this video is look before you reach. Don't just great it because you've reached into a place before. Don't assume that it's still safe. Look where you're grabbing. If it's dark, get a flashlight. Do something to... Um, protect yourself. I've got a few more lights that uh, I got to uh, uh, clean wasp nests out of because they're in each one. I got three lights on my garage here, one on either side of my uh, overhead door and one by the man door. So uh, I'm going to blast these things. With that being said, this is Bo to Bob thanking you for stopping by, listening to me talk, and uh, watch me uh, spray this sucker. This is Bo to Bob. We're going to wrap this thing up. All you professionals out there, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, and share it with a friend. Thank you very much. Until next time, cheers.